operation. I'm in the army, not the SS. It's the army who controls. Killed us. I think that's all I need. Very well, gentlemen. Hi, Littler. Hi, Littler. Place of this rehearsal, Jürgen. That's all I need. 
Have a little patience, my dear Walter. We have an agent inside Allied Intelligence. Code name Emerald. Good catch. Quick. Okay, you ready, Nicholas? Here it comes. All right, good grab. Good one. Is that the Yank? Yes. His name's Gus Lang, on loan to us from the OSS. Oh, is he any good? Judging from his past work for us, I'd say he's the best double we've got. The Germans call him Emerald. And from now on, he's your boy. What about some tea? Thanks a lot, fellas. You gotta go. Tell me why you 
you got me out of bed? What's up? Allied command cancelled all naval activity in the area. Including our dummy run. Instead, they held a real rehearsal. You mean to tell me we never told Allied command what we were doing? This was the one that we couldn't leak, not even to Allied command. Hell, Hitler doesn't even need an army with Allied intelligence on the job. Well, there's a little bit more. And that's why we're in this bloody jeep driving out of bloody Devon, and we're going to pray every inch of the way that Himmler hasn't landed himself an overlord. The boats that went down were crawling with them. of interrogation, one of the others identified him as Lieutenant Andrew Wheeler. Quite young, but apparently a wireless expert without peer and no doubt an overlord. Prison for questioning. My compliments for what will surely be another of your trials. something to keep him off the rack. Maybe he had a medical condition to his file. Something heart-related. 
difficult to confirm on examination. Deadly. Kill him if you I think, Captain, that might be a trifle suspicious. Suspicious as hell, Colonel. But I don't think the Germans will take the chance. It might not be true. In his medical file. Normal Gestapo questioning might kill him. In any case, what a man tells you under torture is only what he believes will stop the torture. It may or may not be the truth. On balance, I would still say interrogation by misdirection. The formula would be mere. The real interrogation would be conducted by an agent undercover, posing as a trusted fellow prisoner. Your agent would have to be British. Or British. What about your emerald? Uh, he's stuck in London. You told me Captain Lang not only is Emerald, British intelligence believes he's working for tracking Emerald. Now, suppose we'd send a message to England. The codes know they one win the set. Ordering Agent Emerald to come to Paris. All we do is sit back and have the English develop for us. I expect you've guessed that your trip to Paris is more than a glorious coincidence. It was arranged. Colonel Peters alluded to a certain ace in the hole. A German intelligence officer. A patriot in the purest sense of the word who believes that the only catastrophe for his people greater than Allied victory would be a Nazi victory. This man had arranged the interrogation. True. General Walker Hoffman of the SS former army officer, Colonel Jürgen Brausch, the senior intelligence officer of the German army. And then there's Colonel Ernst Ritter of the SS, a protege of Heinrich Himmler, and an absolute fanatic. Sounds like a great guy. Never underestimate them for a moment. They'll be sizing you up in Paris. You must be on your guard because they'll have you followed, monitored. I get the picture, sir. I'll be on my best behavior. Colonel oh. French, one in wireless communication with us. That sounds awfully complicated, sir. Why can't I report directly to your so-called ace in the hole? Because, for one thing, I won't tell you his name. Captain, if they find you may be subject to rather limited interrogation. What you don't know, you can't tell them. In this Details were normally landing before you arrive. You must report this to us immediately. And the invasion will, of course, be cancelled. Oh, God, that is not the case. It'll take us months to be mounted. We also believe that, despite all our sooner we'll crack, which brings us to our last possibility, Captain Lang. Before it's all over, Eliminate Lieutenant Wheeler. courtesy to exchange name and rank with a fellow officer. Captain Traeger was quite embarrassed by his failure to obtain your name and rank. Traeger is in the army, a gentle poetic breed filled with romantic fancies, Geneva rules and so on. Has shared your disdain for 
for these outmoded rules. You may now consider them discarded. You think you have seen fear and lived through it? Seen the bottom of it? Actually, you have a great deal more to look forward to.
I was expecting Peter Laurie. You need someone to pass in your messages to the wireless people. Therefore, a friend would be best. Oh, did they now? You have a family? I have a son. He's five. I send him to stay with friends in the country. And his father? It doesn't matter. He's not in Paris. How long have you been married? I never met. Well, what do you do? I mean, when you're not being a girlfriend. I'm an artist. If I don't suit you, they'll find someone else. No, no, you suit me. I'll be in the gardens at the Palais Royal, Sunday at 1. teaches that the Jews are a race. Do you think that Führer might be mistaken? Lieutenant Wheeler has been interrogated. 
interrogated six times each day for the past four days by various personnel. All procedures have been designed to maximize disorientation. Food, sleep, and interrogation always at irregular intervals. He has been moved constantly from cell to cell, sometimes in solitary confinement, sometimes with an undercover operative as cellmate. Thus far, Wheeler has refused to give his name or rank on any occasion. I would like to hear the doctor's report about Wheeler's heart condition. Uh, the, the medical report from England mentions a condition called cardiac arrhythmia. It's not a simple matter to explain to a layperson. Try. The heart beats in response to electrical impulses. The atrioventricular bundle is the pathway, so to speak, for these impulses. Get to the point, doctor. The heart can just stop, Colonel. The patient might faint, he might die. It's unpredictable. And what is your conclusion after examining the prisoner? Uh, a reason cannot be verified on examination, uh, unless uh, an episode coincidentally occurs during a electrocardiogram. It simply happens when it happens. And could anything help it to happen? Fear or pain, for example? Stress of any kind would dramatically increase the risk. And the prisoner could actually die from such an episode? Most definitely, suddenly and without warning. What an exquisitely convenient malady for a captured overlord. What are the chances that this report might be fraudulent? To falsify one man's medical record on the chance that the enemy might steal it, I, I think that's highly unlikely. Uh, I believe Lieutenant Froben comes next. Shoot. I was hoping you were the guy who was going to fix the radiator. There's not a lot of steam heat in there. Gus Lane. Hi. How you doing? Getting by. How about you? I'm doing okay. Sleep. Me neither. It's one of the methods, you know. Wake you up every hour, move you around, disorient you. Where are you from? Are you gonna make me guess? Well, if I've got a guess, I guess I'd guess you're from Texas. I played so much poker with guys from Texas, I'd know one even if I met him in a French prison. Am I right? You're right. I'm from Lubbock. I'm Andy. Andy Wheeler. Nice to meet you. him to give you his name, Captain Lapp. At least that's the beginning. There was nothing to it. You think I'm overconfident? No. Why would you say that? Now, Wheeler is just a scared kid. He needs a big brother. Do you feel compassion for him? Should I? I think you should, if you can use it you don't mind the suggestion. Not at all coming from you. Hoffman says you're the master. Well, it's Walter, actually. Walter has the true gift. Yes, I sensed that right from the start. I must say it's a pleasure to be working with you both. You're very kind.
actually know his name? Well, I picked my own name for him. Fritz is the midday shift. The other guys I call Hans and Schultz. <laughs> okay, here's today's message. Short and sweet. I met Wheeler. He's told them nothing. They bought the heart thing. More tomorrow. You got it? Mm-hmm. He's really told them nothing? Please, no questions, okay? Just send the message. You know, no one's given me flowers in a long time. Well, I guess I could have brought you something a little more practical. Oh, no. I love you. Really. Good. Good. It's just for Fritz, okay? He's probably watching us. Father. 
His name is Paul Duchel. Not much to tell. He was just the man who made me pregnant. I haven't seen him for a long time. Do you miss him? <laughs> You're really very sentimental. Americans are like that. Are all Americans like you? Only the lucky ones. It's close to curfew. Come on, I'll take you home.
report your orders, Orb. I was told if I was captured to keep my trap shut. If things get too rough, I might just have to save my ass. Give him, D.D. Hope I don't, but I just might. You, you mean you'd actually tell them about Calais? Yeah. The real place, Calais. Figured you knew. Smart guy like you. Figured you for an overlord right from the start. <laughs> you to any of Rita's guests. I appreciate the offer, but I already took your advice. Her name is Claire Jouvet. Good for you, Gus. <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. <laughs> what do you think of this? It's beautiful. It's the only piece I plan to take back to Berlin. The rest are just expensive. That you had mine about the flow test. Will you excuse me, please? Not for long, I hope. Even tonight, I have to compete with you. Gentlemen. To Calais and to Emerald. What's the matter? What if it's really not Calais? Do you think he lied to you? I think he trusts me. But what if he thought he was lying to you? You mean he might suspect that you were being overheard? It was a little too easy. Just at the moment he told me about Calais. Couldn't you hear it in his voice? What do you think? Perhaps he would relax in a different setting? Well, Captain Lang could take him for a stroll in the courtyard. In the open air, he would know that no one could hear them. A private meeting is against all regulations. Colonel, you'll have these gentlemen believing you don't trust me. Security has nothing to do with personal trust. I agree with Jürgen. An unmonitored interview could be useful. Gentlemen. Everything will be to make you 
think they can read your mind. You know why that's so important? Because they can't. But if you think they can, part of you gives up inside. I'm trained to judge people, Andy, and you won't give up. You won't even come close. See, the guy who wins isn't the guy with the guns. It's the guy who has more information. They don't know what we're doing. We do. We don't give in and tell them, then we win. It's just that simple. Yeah. Real simple. Don't volunteer anything until I give you the okay. If you've kept quiet up till now, any big change will be suspicious. When you first told me you weren't a prisoner, I figured this is it. You're going to give me the cyanide. I'm gonna have to die here, in this place. Yeah, well, I've got other plans for you. Monsieur Duchel, you have a child out of wedlock. The child's name is Michel Chauvet. That's a crime, you know. The mother is suspected of underground activities. Something about her. Something I would like to know. I doubt your silence is courageous in motivation. Courage doesn't appear in your files. Perhaps you fear punishment for not having reported her activities. To the contrary, I can assure you. Your cooperation will be rewarded. She were in the underground. I swear to you, I never knew about it. Nothing else. I would like names. She did have a one friend. A Belgian girl named Jasmine. Very outspoken. That's one name. I'd like others. What about her past? About her family? There was something. A grandfather or an uncle. He lived in Poland. Maybe Australia. A village. He was Jewish. Are you quite certain? She only told me one. But there was considerable detail. Names, places. No question it was true. Thank you, Mr. Duchel, for your time. Question me about all of this. Belgium girl, Jewish ancestry. Use every means necessary. When you're certain you know everything, Absolutely certain. Kill him. Some champagne? No, thank you. I would like some. Now tell me, Colonel, what exactly do you do to earn such a beautiful uniform? He takes me to dinner for one thing, but he's always late. <laughs> Gus showed me the lovely black uniform you've given him, but he never wears it. And when I ask him what he does all day, he says he merely goes to the office and waits for lunch. Let him tell you charming lies. Our duties are of too technical a nature to interest so beautiful a lady. So uninformative. What about you? Surely you must do something very interesting. What would you imagine I do, Claire? Well, I imagine you initial documents all day. Perhaps sometimes you chastise black marketers or saboteurs. Or perhaps you merely come to Paris to have love affairs. Between initialing documents and chastising saboteurs, I've had too little time, I'm afraid. I'm surprised Captain Lang hasn't told you anything about his heroic mission. Well, I'm here to liberate France. To restore to her people their freedom and self-respect. Not to mention their champagne. <laughs> <laughs> He's so generous, always doing things for others. Mademoiselle, in photo, I'd like a photograph to prove that I've dined with two of the most charming women in Paris. Come closer. Now, everybody.
everybody a big smile. Now.
Are you quite sure about that? Yes. In fact, she is a collaborator, a most valuable informer.
I patted him on the head and I told him I shared his concern. It's all quite harmless. Greetings from a mutual friend, Sir Geoffrey Macklin. 
Why tell me now? Because apparently Walter knows why you are in Paris. Has he told anyone? No one. I will stake my life on it. In fact, I already have. A few days ago, Walter came to my room and he told me something about Claire Jouet. But I knew that what he was telling me was not the whole truth. So I had Traeger track him. And he followed him to a small military airfield just outside the city. Walter was meeting a man. Traeger's description was extremely precise. An Irishman named Patrick Callahan. A man who has worked for me these last seven years. No doubt the SS offered him more money, so he switched. What do you think Hoffman will do next? Whatever he does, he will do it soon, and he will do it alone. I've known Walter for years. He trusts no one. That way no one can... betray him. But no one can help him either. There's something that... There's two things, really, I've been planning. I'm gonna need your help. How about going for a walk? Mm -hmm. So the artist can work in peace. Don't go too far. see the original documents on Wheeler's medical condition. Why is there a problem? I hope you'll understand when I say that I've always liked you, Gus. But I never trusted you. These past few days, a number of things have been troubling me. You, Andy, and most of all, Jürgen Brausch. You don't know him as I do, or thought I did. How could such a man betray his country? Now, as to you and Andy, if he was giving us false information, it had to come from you. And as you fed him the false information, you, Gus, must know the truth. Wheeler's expendable. I have to turn him off to Ritter. Now I have you. You know, when the war is over, none of this will make any difference whatsoever. But for now, I must ask you to come with me, Gus. I'm afraid it's a little too late for that, Walter.
what it says. Now, this appears to be a personal directive from Walter Hoffman. It says that he has been called to Calais. It says that you are to speak with his authority. And that Hans Ritter is to be relieved of his commission and held in detention. It's a matter of treason. It'll all be made clear in the next ten days. Continue. It says that you are to bring the American prisoner to Calais immediately. Captain Traeger, I want the prisoner. Garbosh, you will address yourself to me. Show him the order. What is this? It's a direct order from your commanding officer. This is obviously faked. I don't believe a word of this. It's over, Colonel. Save your outrage for the court-martial. Colonel Brouch, you have your orders. Captain Traeger, bring the car on the double. Move it! Hold it, Captain Lang. <laughs> This man is now in your custody. General Hoffman will expect a full detailed report. Walk with me, Colonel. One last thing to settle. Just hold up, partner. Get out of this. Here, so take it easy. Ja, hello. In the emergency call, please. For General Walter Hoffmann. Start piecing this together. Right now, that doesn't really matter. Goodbye, Miss. Yes, 